So this question says, if 3 fifths W equals 4 thirds, what is the value of W? So this is a simplify question. I know that because it's only a single line long. Simplify questions are typically one to three lines long. So I'm going to take the equation, 3 fifths W equals 4 thirds, because this is what needs to be simplified. Um, the question is asking me to solve for W. So there's actually another way to solve this, which is plug in answers, which I'll just note. I'm not going to use that way initially, but maybe I'll have some time to, to do that afterwards. So you can see that strategy as well. So I'm going to start off with the simplify strategy. So if I want W isolated, I'm going to multiply both sides of my equation by the reciprocal of 3 fifths, which is 5 thirds. And then that means that the 5s and 3s cross cancel on the left-hand side, leaving me with W equals, and I can cross, I can multiply directly across here. So 4 times 5 is 20, 3 times 3 is 9, and therefore my final answer is 20 over 9. So the other strategy, like I mentioned, plug-in answers, also works because the question is asking for a specific variable, W. All of our answer choices represent that variable of W, which means I can just plug in the answers into the W here. So this takes a little bit longer um, because I'm not sure if I'm using this method, I'm not sure what the right answer is, obviously. So I have to try each option. So trying choice A would be three fifths. And then instead of W, I'm replacing that with nine over 20 is equal to four over three. Again, when I multiply straight across here, I get 27 over 100 equals four over three. And that's just impossible, right? Because this fraction, this fraction is an improper fraction where the numerator is larger than the denominator, whereas this fraction is a standard fraction, right? Where the numerator is less than the denominator. So there's no way to simplify the first fraction to get four thirds. So A would be gone. B, I'm replacing it with four fifths. So we have three fifths times four fifths equals four thirds we get 12 25ths equals 4 thirds. And again, for the same reasons that A is wrong, B must also be wrong, right? We have standard fraction to improper. Choice C, replace with 5 fourths or plug in 5 fourths. So in this case, I'd have 3 fifths times 5 fourths equals 4 thirds. 3 fifths times 5 fourths is 15 over 20. And once again, same deal. Right, 15 twentieths can actually reduce um, into three fourths, right? So f five goes into 15 three times, five goes into 20 four times. So those are not equal to each other. So C is gone. And then lastly, D, which we know is the right answer based upon our simplify method, we'd have three fifths times 20 over nine equals four thirds. You know, when I multiply straight across here, I know you can cross cancel, which makes this a lot easier, but let's just multiply across in case um, you're, not, you're not aware of how to cross cancel. I'd have 60 over 45 equals four thirds. So at least here, unlike all of the other options, we have two improper fractions. So then I can simplify this. Um, the largest number that goes into both 60 and 45 is 15. 15 goes into 60 four times. Um, 15 goes into 45 three times, so you get that equivalence. You can also just throw 60 over 45 into your calculator, and you'll get a decimal. And what you'll see is that when you plug four thirds into your calculator as well, you get the exact same decimal. Okay. Um, I say all that to say that maybe you didn't know 15 is the largest number that goes in. You never, you never actually have to do that on this test, especially on the calculator section of this test, you can just convert a, um, a fraction into a decimal and then see if the, if the decimals match. So you don't have to waste a lot of time trying to find common factors. So again, simplify is the preferred method whenever I see one to three lines long. Um, again, I showed you how to use plug-in answers just in case you don't know how to do this. Although if you don't know how to do this, I suggest you learn how to simplify and multiply both sides of a you know, an equation with a fraction by, um, by its reciprocal. Um, but just to show you that there's always more than one way to find an answer, right? So we tried the simplify method, and then we also went the longer route through the plug-in answers method.